When you think of the top tier college football coaches, you think of Nick Saban and Dabo Sweeney. Lincoln Riley, Kirby Smart, Brian Kelly, Jimbo Fisher, and Ed O also get tossed around a lot, but they have been inconsistent. One name that I purposely forgot to mention is Ryan Day. Ohio State football is in the next era of the program after Urban Meyer retired, and they haven't even remotely taken a step down, and in my opinion, they will actually take a step up under Day. I think Ryan Day is the next great coach in college football, and he will figuratively replace Nick Saban when he retires. This dude is young, has the keys to one of the top programs in college football history, and is already doing big things, so the sky is honestly the limit. In his first year with the Buckeyes, Day took them all the way to the college football playoff, where they were one miscommunicated play away from potentially making it to the national title game. Who knows if they would have beat LSU, but at least give Day a shot. Right now, Ohio State looks just as good as they always do, and Justin Fields is every bit as good as advertised. The defense is good, Trey Sermon and Master Teague look good at running back, and besides Chris Olave, and there are a ton of young weapons at wide receiver for them. So, it looks like OSU is already on the fast track back to the college football playoff, unless they somehow blow a game. Today we'll talk about why I think Ryan Day is the next great coach, talk about his story a little bit, and just Ohio State football in 2020 in general. But first, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I try to tell the best stories in sports, and I especially like to focus on college football. So be sure to hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends, and drop a suggestion for any sort of topic I should do next. Be sure to stay until the end to help the video, and let's get started and talk about the next great coach in college football, Ryan Day. Before we can talk about his 2020 campaign so far, let's go back in time and briefly touch on his story. Day attended Manchester Central High School in Manchester, New Hampshire. He was a quarterback there and a defensive back. He was a New Hampshire Gatorade Player of the Year for his senior year, and he decided to bring his talents to college. He didn't exactly go to a high-profile college as it was the University of New Hampshire, but he would play for a big-time name that you guys are honestly probably going to be shocked to hear. Chip Kelly was the offensive coordinator for New Hampshire at one point, and under Kelly, Day would set four career records at UNH, including completion percentage and career touchdowns. His coaching career would start in 2005, but the first time he really got to the FBS level was in 2012. He became the offensive coordinator for Temple under Steve Adazio, and then when Adazio took the job for Boston College in 2013, Day went with him. After that, he was seen as an up-and-coming assistant, and he was hired by the Philadelphia Eagles to be a quarterback coach in 2015. In 2016, after Chip Kelly was fired, Day was hired as the quarterback's coach for the San Francisco 49ers. In 2017, he made his way back to the college football ranks as he became the co-offensive coordinator at Ohio State. After potentially being linked to the Tennessee Titans offensive coordinator job in 2018, Day ended up getting promoted to the offensive coordinator position and the primary play caller for Ohio State under Urban Meyer. They call him an Urban Meyer disciple, so when Meyer was in hot water for the allegations with Zach Smith, he became the coach during his absence. He would win all three of his games during that time, and he showed a lot of potential. In early December of 2018, Urban Meyer would end up retiring as the head coach after the Rose Bowl, and they ended up deciding to promote Ryan Day instead of opening a national coaching search. When Day was hired, he said this, when people ask the question, they say, what have you changed from Urban Meyer? That's a hard question to answer at times because you're talking about one of the most successful college coaches in the history of the game, Day said. I try not to focus on what I have changed, but I do think you can ask some guys on our team and our staff, and there's a lot different, but it's because he's not here and I am. It's pretty wild that Ohio State put that much trust in him to be their next head coach, and it's probably linked to a decision he made a few years ago. He loved coaching in college, but he always wanted to stand out. He decided to go to the NFL and focus all his time on learning quarterbacks and the pro passing game. He thought he would differentiate himself in the coaching world, and that's why he did it for two years. He said it gave him an edge in coaching, and I think it ended up working out for him. People did doubt Ryan Day to an extreme when he was first hired. I know I was a little bit skeptical, because I mean, Urban Meyer was there before, and Day had never even been a head coach at any level. But he wanted to keep the OSU culture alive and make the program even better, and he never saw a drop off coming. He had an unbelievable first year. It was really big for him on offense, as his two best offensive weapons in KJ Hill and JK Dobbins returned, and then he landed the coveted transfer from Georgia, Justin Fields, to be his quarterback. He would have an unbelievable rookie year. The Buckeyes finished the regular season undefeated and earned a spot in the college football playoff as a result. Ohio State would fall short to Clemson due to a miscommunication between Justin Fields and Chris Olave, and they dropped a 29-23 thriller. There is a ton of talent for the 2020 team, but this team has to be developed for him to have success. And that's where a lot of people think Day excels as a head coach. It's his style. 
which revolves around toughness and love. And he says that is what makes the Buckeyes' future so bright. At a coaching clinic, he called the philosophy at Ohio State tough love. He said you have to be physically tough, mentally tough, and emotionally tough. But it's all about love. Love is what drives, love sustains. Not only does he have tough players on and off the field, but now he's getting more talent from the high school level. Ryan Day is already recruiting extremely well for Ohio State right now, and his teams are only going to get better if he keeps getting all these talented guys. To me, he just has the it factor, and I think he constantly coaches with a chip on his shoulder because everyone said he didn't belong. I think the only thing that could actually stop him from being the next great college football coach is the fact that he will likely get an offer to be an NFL coach. He already has some experience there, has some connections, and he knows quarterbacks really well, which is something that the pro leagues really like. I think it's only a matter of time before Lincoln Riley does the same, and this reminds me a lot of the Matt Rule situation, as everyone knew he was eventually going to lead to the NFL after he rebuilt Baylor. Ohio State should easily cruise to the playoff, and the gap between them and Michigan and Penn State should only widen under day. Kyle McCord and CJ Stroud are the next guys up at quarterback, and they already have the number one running back in the class of 2021 and Trayvon Henderson, so that position looks pretty good. They have Garrett Wilson, Julian Fleming, Jackson Smith, and Jamison Williams as young wide receivers, and Cameron Babb may eventually get a chance to play if he can stay healthy, plus he'll be bringing in a lot of young playmakers in this year's class. The defense is good as always, and I think Ohio State football is soon going to cement themselves as perennial college football playoff participants. The biggest critic against Ryan Day is that he came in with all the talent in the world, has a great coaching staff around him, and has all the tools and facilities to be successful. So I think the best gauge for him is going to be in about two or three years when everything is on him. But I truly believe Ryan Day is going to prove everybody wrong once again, and I think he's going to be the next great coach in college football. But what do you guys think? I'd love to hear from you Ohio State fans. What do you think of Ryan Day? And do you think he could potentially be better than Urban Meyer? Be sure to let me know that, and let me know another coach who I should do a video or a spotlight just like this on. Algorithm so more people can see it. I really appreciate you guys. And if you're new, do not forget to subscribe and check out all my other videos if you're still here. I hope to see you guys again soon, but until next time, peace.